walk us through what, what happened with the injury? Uh, I just took a long step um, as a transition, trying to get to the basket and um, planted onto my left foot and then just felt a little tweak and I went up and down the court maybe like a couple more times and I was like, ah, I don't think I can do what I need to do on the court. So After they made the diagnosis and some tests, what, what goes through your mind um, when you hear the news you may be out for a bit? Um, you know, uh, a lot of you, you know, at first it was, I was pretty upset. Um, it was really upset and then uh, kind of came back to my locker and I wore those you know, I wore those pink shoes that day first, you know, for Ava, and I, I immediately saw the shoes and I started thinking, like, about her, and, and then that kind of, you know, I immediately ended my pity party. Um, so, it's, it could be a lot worse, I'm still, like, I'm blessed, I'm going to be back on the court. Uh, have they given you any type of a timeline in, in terms of wait, when you may be back, or, or how long it may take? Um, no, uh, you know, they've basically said that we're going to reevaluate in two weeks and, um, which means, you know, two weeks minimum. Um, and then from there, I think what they've been kind of saying is it's hard to tell, um, and, you know, with, with hamstring stuff, like it's not always easy to know exactly what is a, a good timeline. So they really haven't said anything other than just keep rehabbing two weeks. We'll see how you feel. And then we'll kind of go from there and make a, you know, a plan or whatever as to how I feel within that. Have you injured a hamstring before? Have you got I've never, I've never had a hamstring. I've never had anything wrong with my hamstring ever. So this is all new to me. After the game, um, it was Sean, it was Isaiah. Everyone was kind of talking about the things that you were still telling them in that second half and in ways in which you were still kind of advising them on things. How active do you expect to be or just the responsibility you feel like you have to, to try and help these guys now is they're going to have more responsibility? Um, yeah, I think it's just part of, um, I just, you know, want to see the team succeed. I want to see young guys do well. And um, I guess I'll just talk until Kenny tells me to shut up. Um, <laughs> it's, it's what it's what it's going to be. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm learning. I've learned so much just the first few games playing with these guys. So basically everything I've learned about each player and how I feel like the game should be controlled or the variety or how we run, you know, different things. Um, I'm just going to basically try to give as much as I can to whoever's, you know, controlling the ball or, or in charge at that moment. Um, but I think it's important for veterans to always continue to talk. I think, um, you know, we always say like players are, you know, players, there's always constant self-talk in every single athlete's mind throughout the game. And so sometimes it's important to hear a different opinion or to hear someone who's kind of been through it to see, you know, hey, maybe you think about it this way. you expect to travel with the team or stay here to rehab? I don't I don't even think we've thought that far. I mean, I, I, my initial guess is probably travel, but um, I honestly, like, yeah, just let it calm down and then see, and then see how I respond, and that's kind of where we're at. Have you had anything significant since the, the knee in New York? Was that your last uh, long sideline or? Yeah, I mean, I probably haven't missed more than like consecutively two, three games. Yeah, it's funny, um, that was so long ago, but uh, it took a life of its own in terms of everybody weighing in on what they think I should do or shouldn't do and how the story was spun in so many different ways as to what the injury was in the timeline. So um, for me, going into this one, it's a new one for me. So I'm really just kind of listening to the doctors um, and yeah, I would love to know, like, well, what's the timeline or what is this or what is that? But uh, they just, you know, they're just telling me we these are something like we just don't know. Obviously, Sean and Isaiah are kind of in different positions. Um, you know, one guy, a young guy, and another guy, a guy who's not played the point. What kind of advice did you give each of them? He was dead tired. He's like, dude, I don't know how you do this every night. I was like, man, you get used to it. So uh, I told him it's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be a fun challenge for him. And he's a really, he has a really good feel for the game, so I'm not worried about it. Um, actually, I'm, it's, it's, I think Isaiah is going to grow a lot from it, too. I think they're both going to be like, they're going to do good. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Thanks, Jeremy.